Transax and welcome back to Astro Quest. I'm going to do things a little bit differently this time around. I'm going to do a longer session and I'm going to divide it up into parts. Uh, more of what I like to refer to as the Yogs Cast format, or the Yogs format for that matter. But let's get straight into it. Now, <clears throat> I have been doing some work on my walls for my house. I hope to move in there soon. Uh, a couple more trips to the nether and I should be uh, gravy. Obviously I haven't put any spots in for windows just yet. I have no idea what I'm going to do for the roof. I am definitely thinking a peaked roof um, for for the house. Uh, I've got a you know, put some glass into the into the bedroom. Um, let's have a look. Let's just see what I've got in my chest. I might actually have some glass panels uh, ready to go, which I do. Glass panes. Here we are. Uh, I'm going to need probably a few more. So I'll put that in there. Anyway, how's everybody doing? Good, I hope. I'm doing fantastic, considering that I've been awake for over 24 hours now. But, yeah, I do apologise for the uh, lateness of this video going up, um, whenever I get it up. I am going to endeavour to better facilitate my schedule, which is a Monday, Wednesday and Friday uh, upload, as it were, um, to look at doing. Let's hit a... I'm going to... Do a trip into the. Actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to go to the no, go to the Nether right now. What I'm going to do is because I'm running this as a single player world. Obviously, the world is not persistent, and things keep running infinitatum, or on and on and on. Um, so I have to come in and actually be here to keep the get the chunks loaded and have the quarry have this quarry running. It is now actually finished. Um, I was coming back quite often to uh, restock this, go out, cut some wood, come back, uh, restock it restock it with charcoal. Uh, that was its primary means of functioning. But let's get all this cobble. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to store it because that chest that I've got is not going to be any good. But anyway, I will. Um, we will just grab that. Uh, what I'll end up doing once I've emptied the chest, I'm going to make a bigger, a bigger quarry uh, because unfortunately this quarry did not. Or that the quarry back there did not actually net me any diamonds. Now I need diamonds so I can create my first, uh, the first thing I need for my Steve's cart, and that is going to be a uh, wood uh, a wood cutting attachment. Um, and it looks like I'm going to need to start thinking about my storage facility. I have a Feeling? No. No, not on it. Um, maybe no, not in there either. I was hoping that I was going to have a cheaper form of storage being in the uh, barrels. Uh, unfortunately, factorization is not a mod that is on this. Who knew? Uh, nor is another mod that I was going to attempt to start using, which was Mine Factory Reloaded. Uh, but this, you know, as I said, this uh, there is only one added mod, and it's a mod that I personally... It, it, there's very few mods that I can't live without. Uh, one of those being Steve's Cart. The other... 
being well there's a couple of mods that I can't live without and, and if they aren't present I get a little bit upset like a baby uh, let's just say I can't play vanilla Minecraft anymore it, um, it, it actually bores me even though we've got the hoppers uh, the hoppers are the hoppers are in, the uh, what else did they have they added in? Obviously we've got the horses and we've got the uh, other things like the redstone blocks, the chests, redstone chests I think they're called, which when you open them they set off a redstone signal, great little trapping chest, uh, I believe they were more used for uh, adventure mode uh, maps. Uh, I do believe that it also is used in uh, Duncan's Hexit video that's uh, in the Hexit mod pack, uh, which is a, a pretty decent, pretty decent mod pack. I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have to make. I'm going to have to make. Uh, upgrade for this chest, I think. I'm going to have to upgrade it to gold. Uh, and then also make another um, iron chest. Oh, didn't think that one through now, did we, fellas? Anyway, let's do that. And I don't need to actually do that. I want to do this. And whammo! There we go. We have now got a gold chest. Uh, I will be... So do instituting a sorting facility that will help uh, cater for that. The only major issue that I have really at this point in time is my lack of diamond. Uh, if I had some diamonds I could... Uh -oh. can't have that. These all built all very bushes need to be in darkness. They have to be in pure darkness to actually grow, so we can't have any light intruding. Anyway, we've almost finished our three little gold chests there, and I'll be able to start digging up and... Uh, don't think I have much more. I can actually probably do a good move now. So, what we need to do is I need to create some landmarks. Uh, landmark. What are landmarks? I hear you say. Well, you must be a ticket noob, or not even a ticket noob. I should say a buildcraft noob, for that matter. Um, I tend to use only three landmarks at any one time. Uh, one being the uh, not so much the height, but more so to just. The height is fixed regardless, people. I'm just going to put that out to you there now. The height for the quarries is fixed. The only time you ever need to worry about the height for anything on the landmarks is when you're using the filler. Uh, which, as soon as I have more than enough power and materials, I will actually use to make uh, some of my facility. Or one of, one of the buildings within the compound. Uh, floor walls and so on and so forth. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the dirt. I'm sure I can find a use, uh, especially uh, when using the filler. So let's get this, 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 that, that, need that, need that. Hopefully this won't smash. Brilliant. Because I don't have a diamond pick, obviously because I only have the one diamond. Now, as you can see, one of the great little features of Buildcraft now is that the frame actually disappears. Which is brilliant. Uh, now, as I said in the previous episodes, or in the episode when I placed the quarry, I like to use water as as a place for putting the quarries because well just because part of it is because then I don't need to worry about 
lava, it, you know, the, the quarry just digs and digs and digs and digs and... Yeah. Anyway. Well, I am going to put the quarry here. First things first, I'm going to get rid of quarry one. Please delete that one. And I will put this down here. I will... Oh, you know what I... What I, what I can do... Ah! Oh! Oh, look at that. We finally have rain. And I'm going to tell you now, people. The sound pack, the SPAC sound pack, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, what I did there, people, is I applied a red zone signal to the landmark, which is giving me a lovely little blue line. Now, the only pain in the butt thing about me making this thing as big as I'm going to make it which is going to be coast coastline or to this point here is the fact that the fuel requirement is going to be astronomical absolutely astronomically insanely astronomical so I'm going to have to make sure I can get a tree farm up and going as quick as I can or I need to hope that uh, like one of the things I need to do is break out my axe here because I'm going to need these logs and what we want is we want plenty of wood now yes I have the magnetic magnet whatever but it's a magnet mode on um, because I want to you guys might be thinking it's oh, it's a bit cheap um, whose series is this? it's my series that's right I do what I want and it's a bit cheaty I know uh, whatever uh, one of the things that I will be getting into soon I hope is the Tinker's Construct and a couple of other things. Uh, I'd like to. Uh, so this is pretty big. This is a very big area. I think I may have. Yep, brilliant. I put it in the right place. This is fantastic. Now I'm going to probably end up just leaving this one here and forgetting about it. These things are cheap to make, and when you've got a quarry as big as this one's going to be, it won't matter. The other downside to building this thing as big as I'm building it is the amount of waste material, so things like cobble, sand, dirt. Uh, obviously, I want to keep my um, I want to keep my uh, We've got 25 chunks loaded. All right. Uh, obviously, I want to keep my ores and my all that sort of thing. So, which obviously, if I did that, I wouldn't need the. I could get away with the three gold chests. Unfortunately, I don't have the diamond I need, and I don't actually have the fuel I'll need to uh, drive these engines. Uh, one of the, I'm actually going to put... I think I'm going to go and grab another one of these and I'm going to set these chests another thing higher and I'm going to put here another sterling engine. Um, you know what, I'm going to cut this tree down too. We need the wood. If I was able to get some jungle trees, this wouldn't be a problem. I'd just sit there and I'd get a whole bunch of jungle trees and I'd chop them down, replant, chop, chop them down, replant, etc, etc, etc. But I never found any jungle trees on my search, on the big search, which netted me the magic tree and the, or the magic, magic wood, the um, 
other wood. Dark wood, the jacaranda, the pine, the willow, the palm. You know, that's. Yeah, I wasn't lucky enough to get any of that. But, we'll see how we go. And obviously, we hear some new zombies. We. You know. Yeah, anyway. So, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? What am I doing? I am getting rid of some of this stuff here. We're going to. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. You're dead. Uh, we'll take the charcoal out of here. We'll take that charcoal too. Oh dear. Oh, hello. He, he went, he took a bit to take go down, that's interesting. Anyway, I've just run out of, oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Ah, oh, all my things are going, what the hell? There we go, yeah, I win. Let's actually have a snooze, not that it's going to help, I mean, you know, it's raining, so... Zombies aren't going to burn up. Oh, a little bubba. Little bubba. Little bubba with a spade. Oh, yay. Rain stopped. Anyway. Oh, almost dead. Nom, 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 nom. Right, so we were in the process of putting that there. Gonna, oh, sorry. Pull the AC word out of there, put that in there, and have I got any more? things I can use. Uh, anyway, we're going to drop our cobble back, our sand in. I'll drop off the bone. Cat tar, the oak sap thing can stay. Keep the charcoal. Now, I was going to make a piston. I need one more diamond, and I need to, need to make a new sword and a new axe. Now the sapphire axe here is not uh, tree capitator compatible so unless I go digging through some config files and add the pick that particular sapphire axe in she ain't gonna happen. But anyway we also I want iron and I want to grab some iron out of here Put that in there. We'll put some pulverized iron in there. Do this. Lovely iron axe again. Anyway, what we need now is. Oh, that's right, and I want a sword too. New sapphire sword. Uh, so, what we want now is we want one. Three, oops, no, I only want one, two of those to get two wooden gears. Oh, I'll need my cobble again. Uh, so we want that, that, and that. Like that, that gives us our two stone gears. I'm going to want one of those. And I'm gonna want some redstone. And I'm gonna do this, 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 and this. That makes our piston, which we put in the wrong place. We put there, we put that there, and we go like that. Oops, no, we don't, sorry. Stealing engines are uh, those are there. I'd be very interested to see how a kinetic engine actually works, but I can't seem to find the uh, recipe. Oh no, that's right, we need the pneumatic motor which needs a high pressure cylinder which requires bronze and a redstone circuit which 
I need diamonds to make the uh, laser. Oh, the laser turret. I will definitely be making one of them puppies. Anyway, laser, which needs two diamonds, redstone and obsidian, and the assembly table, which requires a diamond gear, a diamond, and then the four obsidian as well. It's almost as if saying that the kinetic engine is actually quite a versatile and powerful engine that requires quite in-game dealies. You know what, I'm turning that off. Uh, quite a lot of in-game kit. So plenty of diamonds available. Well really I need four, five, six, seven diamonds to make the assembly table and to make the uh, who do you want to? Uh, laser. Oh, you know what I forgot to grab? Yeah. That thing. So, take this, take this, take this. And that. Now, one of the things that I can do here is here, take this out. Put one there, and then one here. And that'll power all, or give the signal required to all four engines to run. But before we do anything else, we need to get a. Well, one, we need another diamond. Which are we? I'll tell you what. I wasn't planning on going digging, but I really need this other diamond, and I think I may have uh, maybe somewhere I can go to get it, or to have a reasonable look for it. And I might get lucky and I might find a decent vein that'll give me what I need. Now I could go down that way. Uh, 